P.G. Sittenfeld's fate now rests with a federal jury. In closing arguments, those 12 people were presented with two questions. Prosecutors say they proved the answer to this one. Did Mr. Sittenfeld agree to accept and receive money knowing it was in exchange for official actions? His defense says context matters, asking jurors, quote, did P.G. have corrupt intent on all six counts? He faces two counts of honest services wire fraud, two counts of bribery, and two counts of extortion. Accused of taking $40,000 in political action committee donations in 2018 and 2019 from undercover agents all surrounding his help and recorded promises to, quote, shepherd the votes on a proposed development at 435 Elm Street. Witnesses testified he pressured them to keep the project moving forward. His defense team says he believed it was good for the city and the region at the front door of the convention center. Prosecutors told jurors, quote, Sittenfeld's loyalty extends only as far as to who paid him the last check. But his defense team describes him as involved, quoting, it's what we want out of our elected officials. Roll up their sleeves and get in the weeds. That jury must now decide if the money was a bribe and one Sittenfeld knowingly took.